Hello, this is Paul Group with GlideFast Consulting. Today I'm going to go through two new features of demand management that came out with the ServiceNow New York release. So one area that ServiceNow heard uh, needed some improvement was around demand tasks. So before New York, there was no such thing as a demand task. Introducing in New York, you're able to have a demand manager work with and collaborate with other individuals that may be partaking in this demand. So by doing this, we can go down here to the demand task and we can give it a quick short description. So let's say we need um, hardware costs for a new server. We can go ahead and select an assignment group. And we can also uh, select an assignee of who you would like to produce this cost for you. Now under category, we're gonna to wanna to do a cost estimate. And we can put a description on here as well. And then we can go ahead and submit that. Let's also say that we wanna get an estimate on how much labor, the cost of the labor will take to install this new server. So the same thing, we can go ahead and select our assignment group. And then also the assign to. And for this one, we want to choose a resource estimate and then submit. So now we have our two demand tasks. And this way, the demand manager doesn't have to just use email. They can actually assign a task directly to another individual to get that information for them. So now we can go ahead and go and impersonate uh, Don. And Don can go to my work. And we'll see here we have these two demand tasks that we've just created in his work queue. So let's click on one of them. We can review here, okay, they wanna get a hardware cost for a new server. Um, it's currently open. So let's say I wanna go ahead and put it into work in progress. So we can show the demand manager I'm actively working on this. Um, looks like we're only getting one server. So I can go ahead here and go to add demand cost plan. So let's say this server costs us $5,000. We're only gonna be purchasing one of them. And we can go ahead and put our cost type on here as well. And let's just say um, we are planning this to happen um, in October of FY22. So we can go ahead and put our physical period in here of when this is gonna be purchased. Once we're done with it, we can go ahead and click Submit, and then we can go ahead and add our work notes. And then we'll move this task to close complete and update it. So then we go on to the next one, which was estimating the labor for installing that server once we get the server. So let's go ahead and add a resource plan here. So we wanna pull someone from engineering services. We really only need one person to do this. And let's say it's gonna take them about 20 hours to do the install. And we know it'll take a little bit of time to get the server here. So let's go ahead and estimate we're gonna start on November 4th of 2020 or 2022, I think it was. And then we can go ahead and request this resource. And then we'll close this task. Now, if we go back as a system administrator, who is the demand manager for this particular demand, we can see here, both of these tasks have been completed. And we can also see, we now have a resource plan that's been generated. So we can see we're looking for someone from engineering services and we're looking about 20 hours to install and with a cost of $2,400. So we can go ahead and confirm that plan and we'll see we've got a person assigned to it for the 20 hours. Now, if we go over to the cost plans, we'll see obviously the resource plan has generated a cost and then we also have the server. So from that task, this actual cost plan was generated to show the price of the server, 
you know, the physical period of when it would be purchased in and the overall price for it. So now the demand manager, instead of using emails or calling people to get different information, they can actually assign these tasks out. And as people close these tasks, it'll update with our cost plans, our resource plans. Um, you can do benefit plans. You can do a risk assessment. So a lot of great features that came with the demand tasks. So the other small little feature that Service now added in here uh, was adding the project manager field to the actual demands. So before you never had visibility to go ahead and plan out your project manager as you're planning out your demand and reviewing the financial pieces of it and kind of gearing up for your project. So now they've brought over the project manager field onto the demand. So if we are to promote this demand to a project, we can jump over here and see now that the project was generated and it already has that project manager assigned. So it copied directly over. So those are just two of the cool features that came out with the demand management in the ServiceNow release of New York. Make sure to check out our other videos, and if you have time, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Mm -hmm.